Welcome back guys, sellers. If you guys are thinking about putting your home on the market, there are definitely things you wanna consider fixing because it will definitely get flagged on the inspection report. I wanna bring in a friend of mine, and he, you're so great, Jeff Owens with Real, uh, Preferred Real Estate Inspections. He's actually done this house, this is my listing. Five things that we need to really consider fixing before we put our house on the market. Let's start with the AC, that gets flagged every time. Yeah, by default, AC comes up in a lot of, just about all of our reports. We need AC uh, in just about every situation we have. We come in and stress the AC out, we always find a cooling issue that always goes back most of the time through homeowner neglect, meaning they're not getting that uh, annual or twice a, twice a year in uh, service by a licensed HVAC contractor. So we always can tell the performance is always low in, in those environments. And it all relates back to the maintenance of it. So we always encourage somebody to say, you know, we really need to probably have a further evaluation by a licensed HVAC contractor. They come in and do a further evaluation of the unit. A few times a year, at least twice a year. Yeah, exactly. And my clients always forget and then it's too late and they, they don't call somebody until there's a problem. Don't right. let that be you. Okay, and then the next one. So as far as the plumbing, we come in the plumbing lot, we do the same thing, we stress the plumbing out, we stress the drain, the fixtures, we're to try to determine if they're draining well, the supply, also if there's any leaks. Uh, also, you have also the older homes, you have galvanized piping. So a lot of the galvanized piping over time uh, reduces the performance of the pressure in the home, we also create leaks. We look for leaks in the ceilings through that. Uh, so we're looking in the sinks, we're looking at the uh, fixtures, we're under looking sinks. The, and, no, under the sinks, exactly, because there's a lot of personal items under the sinks, and a lot of times you don't know you have a leak until you get in and start pulling it out, and then you got cabinet damage, you got mold possibly, etc. And then also, we're checking part of that plumbing is the water heater. So the water heater is obviously neglected, whether it be in the attic or garage. Uh, we do highly recommend a plumber to come out because there are things that need to be maintained throughout the year and throughout the life of the appliance if you want to extend the life of the appliance. So See, highly recommend that. I've never gotten my water heater checked ever. Yeah. I don't think about that. Um, but a water heater can last you 15 years or longer if you maintain it. If you maintain it, right. it exactly. Okay, so call a plumber once a year on that water heater. Yes, exactly. So then you get into the roofing of it. We always find roofing issues because we do get up on, the, on top of the roof. Uh, we do have special shoes we can walk up there, so we highly don't recommend the homeowner doing that. Find you a roofer that's dependable, reliable, have them come out every year, especially after a windstorm event. And when you have a windstorm event, we find uh, hail damage on certain sides of the roof. Missing shingles. Missing shingles. Yeah. They don't send painters up there to caulk. Find you a painter that's doing other things. Have them go up there, caulk around the pipe gaps, seal those, because those are water penetrations into the attic that you don't see that are long-term things but cause a lot of damage. Uh, plus there's some other issues that go on in the roofing that you want to prolong that uh, replacement as much as possible. Some 18, 25 years on a lot of roofs, but if you neglect it, you just have to short that, that's, that life expectancy down. And I tell my sellers, because your house settles over time, everything just settles. Oh. And all of the vent stacks right. on your roof, the caulking comes loose around it, and then water gets in, water's highly destructive. So keep an right. eye on that. And then the last one. And then we have electrical. A lot of times we come through and we find a lot of what is called GFCIs. That's a little push button re reset on a lot of your bathrooms, garages, outside, etc. cetera. Uh, people don't know you're actually supposed to test those for the manufacturer says you're supposed to test often. What that means is you want to actually let it go through the performance of dis disrupting power. So when we come through and check it, we find a lot of GFCIs that are failing when we tech check it just because it's not being tested and or updated or replaced. So you're not actually providing that safety feature like in a kitchen here where you have everything on the counter. Uh, fryers, coffee maker, et cetera, that, that could possibly create a short. That's what the GFCI is designed for. Also, you're next to water, that protection and safety event, as well as in bathrooms. That's the GFCI is for to disconnect power. Uh, check those, have an electrician come in and replace those periodically and or check them. And that's bathrooms, kitchens, garages, exterior, and things of that nature. So uh, we do find out just about on every report. Yeah. 99.9% .9 of all reports, GFCI is on there. Right. So listen to Jeff, sellers, listen to Jeff. Thank you so much, Jeff, thank you with so much. Preferred Real Estate Inspections. Always good to see you. Thank you, thank you.